We're here with uh, Robbie Reese, and he's going to show us how to make the perfect cup of coffee. So what you do, you get your cafetiere. Now, original cafetieres have got glass instead of cocktail mixers, but we've had to make do with what we've got. Now, for extra flavour, you want to leave all the coffee you can from every coffee you've Let ever made that, in, in the bottom to get all that flavour. So, then you get your Joe, as it used to be called, and you want to measure out exactly about that much. Now you want to make sure you put the lid back on, because if you get this shit wet, that's game over. Now, Prior to that, what you want to do is fill up the kettle and put it on. Here's one I made earlier. It's currently cooking. Put in the oven, gas mark 5, about 20 minutes, job done. Now whilst you're waiting for ye old kettle over there, you want to get your mug sorted. Because otherwise you're just going to be sat there and you'll be like, oh no, where's my mug? <laughs> oh, I can't keep a straight face. So, you got to find a mug. It's got a mug, hunt. I've got I've got one with me already. He, he's right here. His name's Bob. Come on, guys, let's go find some mugs. There's a mug. There's another mug. And look, you even got cardboard mugs. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Now, the thing with coffee is it's a very personal thing for everyone. Everyone's got their preferences, sugar, milk, how much coffee they have. You've got lattes, cappuccinos, etc., etc. But the biggest thing about coffee is the mug you put it in. For Bob, he likes a nice black mug with plenty of stains. I, myself, like a pint glass, but it's not quite a pint, it's it's, where, where does it say on here? There we are. Two thirds of a pint. That's a you? There we are. Right there. Two thirds of a pint. Now I'm not an alcoholic. But I'm an alcoholic. So. Then you've got you to got ask everyone their preferences. Bob, do you, want, do you want anything in your coffee? No, thank you. You don't want anything, just coffee? Yeah. Do you want that coffee in your coffee? Yeah, I'm asked. Sound. I myself like a nice clean glass, but for the purposes of this video, can't be asked. One last step before the kettle boils. I'm going to make sure your uh, plungy doodah is nice and clean. Now, the other day I cleaned it and broke it and didn't tell you, but I fixed it so everything's okay. <laughs> you can't get mad at me because we're on camera. <laughs> Should we do a countdown for the kettle? Yeah. Want to get, get a nice shot on that kettle, yeah? Five! Four, three, two, one, and you want to turn it off before it's boiled. Because, oh, actually, come, come here. We're, 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 come over, come on. I can't, I can't oh, come over. Just working. Oh, come what, what you do? can't get the stuff. Well, now, the most interesting thing about the kettle just, is that when you turn it on, now you're going to walk them over here. I'm, I'm over, I can zoom. You want Right. When you put the kettle, like, this is this is the meter for the entire room. It's currently got a lot of electrical appliances running through it, and as you can see, that baby's pretty fucking still. However, when one turns on a kettle, look at it go! Five, six, seven, eight. That's like four electricities you used already. Anyway, science aside, we're back to coffee now. What do you want to do? You want to start low and slow, and you want to build your way up, pour it as fast as you can, as high as you can, and then cut it off real slow. Now you whack the kettle back for the next poor fucker that's got to use it. Now, the correct appliance for this job is a spoon. However, that requires washing up, and we don't do that here. So what you want to do is use the end of the plunger, this end, not this end, because that's not going to work. You want to whack it in there, get a good old stir, get a good old fucking and then let it rest for a little bit. If 
you have toilet roll to hand, then you can clean your plunger. Be careful, as a plunger can become quite hot. It is boiling water after all. And now, now we wait. Some like to wait with the plunger sitting in the top. Some like to wait without it. Bob, what's your preference? Uh, sitting on top. Sitting on top it is. Now when you do it with this, with the cocktail shaker, the premium cafetiere, you want to really wedge that fucker in, otherwise it's going to fall out and get all the granules in your cup. And you don't want that, do you? No. Do you? No. Is that it? Not quite. Now we wait. Right, that should do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh, straight face, man. Fucking breathe. Right. <laughs> and you just pour the fucking coffee out. How much do I need to explain? I don't know. Come on. Right, I'm gonna right. finish. And then you pour. Now, come on, we're nearly done. Then you pour. You fill my glass up and you give Bob like half. Go on, we're feeling generous today. I probably. Oh, I fucking hate this goddamn cocktail. I want a fucking cocktail. Ah. As you can see, there's plenty more fucking liquid in that, but it won't come out because it's a useless fucking method of doing it. But we're students and we're broke and we can't afford anything better. <laughs> now, Robbie, uh, could you explain the flavour profiles of this coffee? Do you know what coffee tastes like? Sorry, say again. Do you know what coffee tastes like? Yeah. Yeah, it tastes like that. Right. Thanks. I don't know. What do you want me to say, man? I've been drinking coffee for a fortnight. Coffee tastes like coffee to me. <laughs> Good pour there. It's gonna close her. Close the shot of the action. The higher you hold it, the more the flavour. Whoa. That's called Farron, you don't you don't go near that. No. What? Oh god, it heard! Hey Farron, what's your favourite coffee profile? What? My favourite coffee profile. Yeah. What? What does that mean? But like flavour when Robbie's showing us how to make a coffee. Yeah yeah. Oh coffee profile. Yeah. Do I want to get <laughs> Yeah, my favourite coffee profile is a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Moretti. <laughs> Mine is his bum hole. <laughs> I felt a man. I'm changing the wind today. Alright, let's go get some booze. I'm just stressing out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking need a beer. Yeah, They're called alcoholics. We're coffee holics. <laughs> Straight back to it. Straight back to it. No, it's the caffeine that does it. And there you are. Coffee. <laughs>